Hey, Larry. Why you run like a madman? Roy, I have to tell you. Got like four turkey livers. Turkey livers? Yeah, but I ran out of ammo. What you reading? Oh, just reading the journal, you know. Good old journal. You feeling better now or? Uh... Yeah, I feel pretty good today. I think all that drinking's been catching up to me. Just been blacking out. Yeah, that can do it to you. Where's yeah, your horse at? Oh, Badger's over by the dock drive. Hitched him over there. Some fellas over there being all funny. What do you mean by funny? Ah, uh, you know, there's some uh, some guys there in front of the dock. There. They're just laying down. I think they're uh, got some trouble. And, uh, you know, so I went over there, make sure they're okay, you know, tap them, tap their pockets and all that just to make sure they're okay. And uh, the guy's accusing me of uh, trying to take stuff from their pockets. Can you imagine? You know their pulse is not in their pockets. I ain't no doctor. Well, I guess not. Hey, Larry. Yeah. Anyways, I wanted to take you to the other farm over here. It's not too far from here. Yeah, why not? Let's go check it out. I mean, we don't have to stay there farming all day today, but just so you know where it's at and what we need, you know? What we need for what? You know what I'm talking about? The bakery. Traveling the bakery. Bread. Well, we got to make some bread, don't we? No, we got the bread. I made the bread. While you've been sitting on your lazy ass, I, I made a ton of loaves. I don't even know how to make bread. See, that's the problem. But I figured this out, Larry. I think I found a better use for you. Well, what you got in mind? I know you ain't really the farming type, and you clearly ain't a chef. Uh, I'm listening. I was thinking, uh, once we get this whole shindig up and going, you could be the security. Security. I ride around the caravan. You ride around your horse. And uh, if anything goes down, you know, you handle it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. You know, I think kinda, I could do that. We just got to get you a gun. I got a gun. That gun ain't going to do it. What do you mean? That little pea shooter. God damn it, Larry. <laughs> See? Fastest draw in the West. Take a look at this. Yeah. Larry, would you yeah. come look at this? He, I, I saw this fellow over in Valentine. He's got a donkey. Whoa, whoa. Big bad horse over here. Hey, is that your horse, buddy? Yeah, this is Julian. Oh. Aren't you just over in Valentine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see? I saw this fellow over in Valentine with his little uh, jackass. I think they call it a donkey. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's called a jackass. Yeah, he's called Julian. How'd that thing hold your weight? Hey, hey, you be careful out there with that thing. <laughs> you know, I can't afford a big horse right now, but when I get paid in big bucks, oh man, I'm gonna buy the biggest horse that I don't need Julian no more. Hey, you know what? Respects to you, brother. Ah, uh, nah, Thanks. I think you should stick around with Julian, you know? I can't patrol as a deputy with Julian. Deputy? Yeah, I'm gonna be a deputy recruit. You a lawman? I'm trying to be. Come on, Roy, let's get the hell out of here. Oh man, every time. Trying to be a deputy with that little donkey. <laughs> <laughs> it does some strange times we're living in, huh, Larry? Deputy Smalls, Deputy Jackass. <laughs> Let's go into the bank real quick. So I was thinking we get you a rifle. A rifle, huh? How much is that gonna run me? Well, it's not gonna run you nothing. You're broke. I got seven dollars. Yeah, that ain't enough. Hey, Larry, uh, we're gonna go to the gun store get you a rifle, but uh, I need you to take good care of this thing. It's about about half the money I got left on me. So. Holy shit! All right. All right. Let's get a move on. All right. What about ammunition? You got seven dollars, you said, right? <laughs> Anyways, you're not going to need the ammo. You know, you just got to be looking tough and stuff like that. I could do that. Why don't you take a look around and see if anything uh, strikes your fancy. Shit. I got $2. I thought you had $7. Dude, this fella just charged me $5 to clean my guns. You know, I couldn't resist a deal like that. <laughs> Larry, what the hell? Yeah, I know. All right. I guess we don't have really that much money to spare, huh? That's exactly right. All right, let's go. I'm going to put the rest of this money away. Good idea. All right, look at that thing. It's a fine piece. Yeah, I guess it ain't bad, huh? Not really my style, but, you know. All right, here you go. There it is. Don't go hurting anybody with that. Uh, no, I only got 60 rounds. Like you said, it's going to look tough. Just look like a tough guy, right? Hey, you, you want to no, buy some no, bread? No, hey, 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 hey. Larry, what the I hell are you doing? Larry. Hands. What happened? Sorry, mister. Sorry, guys. Ma'am, I'm sorry about that. Roy, what the hell? I thought you said you wanted me to look tough. And me yeah, look tough. I'm not saying put your gun at every random person you see. How else are we supposed to make and buy bread? You think people are just going to buy bread out of their own volition? Just listen to me. Come with me. All right, Roy, what's the plan here? We got to make some kind of money, some kind of comeuppance. All right, so I got a list of the recipes we're going to be making. Recipes? Yeah, list of the things we're going to sell. The only things that we need right now are a few more apples, some fresh corn, and some animal fat. Once we get everything ready, we'll rent out a wagon, and we'll start, you know, going town to town, selling the goods. All right, that could work. I'm telling you, it's going to work, Larry. You just got to have some faith in me. I have faith. All right, Larry, just follow me. All right.
All right, you can leave your horse anywhere here. I don't gotta hitch him. You can hitch him if you want. How much of this animal fat do we need to get started on our adventure? Let me check this recipe really quick. I wrote down in my journal. Just about 50. 50 pounds will get us exactly where we need to be. All right, so uh, I'll get working on that. You need 25 apples. How much corn do you need? That's a good question. Let me check my journal real quick. No big deal. We need about 100 fresh corn. How much we got right now? I, I don't have a single fresh corn on me. All right, so we need 50 pounds of animal fat. We need 100 fresh corn. We need 25 apples. And then what's that get us? That's going to get us the ingredients we need to make the items that we're going to sell in this traveling bakery of ours. And what are those items that we're going to make? All right, let me check my journal real quick. All right, first thing we're going to be selling is bread. Dang on Traveling Bakery. Be damned if you don't have any bread. We're also going to be selling some nice, fine toast. Butter toast. You know, you put some butter on some toast, real good. Those are just the appetizers. Something nice and simple. In case somebody just wants a quick bite and wants to get on the road. You know what I'm saying? Larry, you know what the hell I'm saying? You got to talk to me. Yeah. I'm not really looking I, I, at you. I'm, I'm reading out of my I'm journal. Listening. Next thing we're going to sell is fry bread. You ever had that? Next thing we're going to sell is cornbread. You ever had cornbread? Next thing we're going to sell apple fritters. You ever had an apple fritter? Well, me either, but this what we need the apples for and the last thing we're gonna sell is hot chocolate hot chocolate huh what the hell is hot chocolate you ain't never had no hot chocolate what the hell they do to you down here all right i guess i'll try it animal fat 50 pounds of it without you be able to get that 50 pounds of animal fat just in one night so all right so what's the plan for now now you pretty much know the whole entirety of what we're selling yeah now. i get the scheme uh, i'll jump on board but i'll tell you what Roy, I'll be honest with you. I don't like. I don't think people want to buy that crap. I just want to see uh, how far this thing goes before you realize it's a bad idea. You want to make money? There's only one way to do it, Roy. How's that? Well, remember that fellow we met with the jackass? Let's just say he wouldn't be too happy with the way we'd be making money. Let me just tell you something, Roy. Keep this near and dear to your heart. All right? I'm listening. The working man's a sucker. But hey, this is the way you want to do things. I'll see it through. We'll try to play the clean game. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, Larry. Look, this don't work out. We try your way. See how far that gets us. <laughs> All right. Why don't we uh, go celebrate to this uh, grand scheme you got going on? All right. Let's go to St. Denise. Why don't we check it out? Hey, how's it going, fellas? How you doing there, friend? Hey, I'm doing all right. How's everything going tonight? Oh, yeah, we're doing great. Uh, you would like a drink? Uh, bartender right over here will serve you. Make yourself a home, get comfortable. Welcome to the Bastille. Thank you, thank you. How you doing? Good, Good. what can I get for you? Well, uh, what's in the menu? Uh, right now we got rum, brandy, whiskey, or a wine. I got some food as well. I got lamb stew, and I got beef stew, and I got some gabagool. Gabagool, what's that? Capicola slices. It comes from the uh, neck of the pig. It's nice, it's like spicy ham. All right, that sounds pretty good. That goes for a dollar. I'm supposed to be here with my brother. I think he's still outside. I'm going to go grab him real quick and we'll get some mortars in. Sure. Hey, this yeah, is yeah, good tried. beer. We make it ourselves, actually. Is that the Blackwater stuff? Let's just say we took the recipe from Sicily and we uh, brought it over here and you can only get this shit from around here. We call it the Paisan IPA. Larry, are you going to drink your uh, whiskey or are you just going to stand there and uh, be like sober? Praying. praying this whiskey don't come back and bite me in the ass. You don't say grace before you drink? I always do. Yeah, me too. Uh, thank you, Lloyd, for giving me this poison to put in my body to fuck your wife. Let's go. How about that? <laughs> you know, that was one hell of a grace. That's what you call a real St. Denis Paisan grace right there. <laughs> Stay out of Blackwater. There are a bunch of momos over there. And if you ever go over there, let them know that St. Denis calls Blackwater a bunch of fucking momos on wheels. Hey, hold on now. You ain't talking about the fellas over at the saloon over there, are you? They're cocksuckers. I wouldn't go that far, buddy. Why is that? Hey, Wanna I, say that again? I'm just saying, they're good fellas over there, you know? Yeah. Good fellas. Yeah, and, and, and they all...